So, uh, just answering questions. What the heck? Ah. Hey there. In their heyday, how did someone become a pirate? Did they come from seafaring families? Ex-military? How would they acquire a crew? Alpha male? Charismatic? Or other ruthless slug? Thanks. So I gave them three links, and the funny part is one of them is just a blog spot called the, Pri Pri the Pirate Empire, and there's also one called Pirates How Cancun, and on an, Reddit. Now these were the first ones that popped up, and the funny part about them is, is they all cover it from different angles, and they're pretty close to accurate, but basically the same way they do now. Uh, piracy on the high seas is just that. It's piracy. It's 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 literally just people trying to make a quick buck or something like that. But in the past, a lot of the times it was people who were kidnapped or grabbed. I mean, there's hundreds of stories by people who were, at one point, pirates. Sometimes they were pressed into work. Just working aboard the ship would be considered, you know, being part of the crew and being partially responsible. Um but I don't know all the details and the thing is is that that's only three of them I found about a dozen pages that all conflict on what the real reason is and all this is so there's no one reason and there's no consistency to it but <coughs> acquiring a crew consisted of paying them in spoils which was a common practice they weren't pirates a common practice on the ocean was salvaging stuff and you'd share among each other with the with the, uh, the material and it would also include salvaging a new ship sometimes, or salvaging it. Arr. Also, by the way, the, the patch didn't mean what you think it means. It's, it's listed on the blog spot, I think. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> this is one of those weird things where I want to invoke the spaghetti monster statement. You know, global warming is related to the pirates. And yes, that is the sound of... Uh, I'm going to cover that noise in the background. I want everyone to comment on this if you don't mind you know piracy's fun but let's let's go on with this i want to know if anybody wants to make it a law in your state or your county or your city to make it to where if someone's caught breaking a law that is almost exclusively induced by being drunk that they be barred from consuming alcohol for the rest of their life by making it to where the liquor commission in a city or county or state will take away your licensing if you serve them at all that's a good question. It has nothing to do with piracy. I'm just wondering about that because can that work? And would that be illegal? And I'm not talking about prohibition. I mean, literally just saying, no, you can't handle it. Next. Um, comment concerning a video about D-Wave quantum computing meme and God, here we go. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Gordy Rose annoying spelling. D-Wave claimed to be the world's first company to sell computers that in their operation exploit quantum effects in a way that is useful for computing. I'm qualifying. Now please remember quantum effects are like saying gravity effects. You can have a gravity based computer or, or device. A teeter-totter is gravity based. But then again, something just sitting still is also gravity-based. Well, gravity's involved. Um, it's such a spurious claim that it never made any sense. And it can't. The company's technology is vaporware, pseudoscience, a hundred other arguments about it. But, quote-unquote, some researchers disagree. No. The only people who say that it's definitively exploiting quantum tunneling effects, or quantum effects of any kind, won't explain why they came to that conclusion, that, which is the polar opposite of scientific inquiry or communication. Some of the peer-reviewed articles are in fact press releases and or have no falsifiable content, which means they are not able to be reviewed because they make no claim that you can test. And um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm reading from the Wikipedia reference here. After the Google NASA deal, all academic critics have stopped criticizing the company. The Wikipedia criticism section is pretty flawed as it implies all of that. So, a fanboy decided to come along, and it's posted and it's, it's preserved, stating this. I'm deleting a lot of the criticism section if no one objects to it within two months with sound arguments. 
that I get to judge. That says D-Wave Quantum Nano Earth changes all over the place. People don't like it when you rip out their salesman's throat by making them actually explain themselves. But yeah, there aren't. Uh, it's it's horse crap. So anyway, <clears throat> so the assertion I got as the psycho screams, "Yay, hey Webtech, you were right about Jody Rose. It's actually Gordy. Sorry, but that really confused me. I'm like, what? Oh, Gordy." He is just a salesman. I'd appreciate you you critique on this video. Any guess on Anthony Patch's nonsense about smashing two mosquitoes together? Great video you done there. Above the bottomless pit can go away. Check this video out. And it ends in EHC. Now I'm going to cover that separately if it's worth it, but the assertion about CERN, I'm not sure if this is the same one. Um, two mosquitoes hitting each other at full speed is the equivalent energy output of 100 iron atoms stripped of their electrons, so it's just the cores of them, running into another 100 iron atoms if run through the super collider at CERN. Now, I've used that expression myself, and the thing is, I mean, it could be off by a lot, but the fact is, is that that's what I think you're referring to. Now, the thing is, I've used that because sitting down, yes you can actually do this, sitting down and actually estimating how much energy mechanically is actually really going on at the impact point at when CERN impact happens. You literally end up with that kind of, I mean it's 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 in the picowatt range of energy it, it, because you can put a billion watts into something, it can just be really inefficient and not do anything output. You'd be better off just having a lightning bolt hit. A lightning bolt hits with a billion watts or something like that for a short burst, like half a second. So anyway, on the next one, I'm going to post my comments on this video below in a separate comment, as if you care. I do care. That's actually a very useful thing. So here, here's his comment. As stated, WAPTEC separate comment on my critique. Kev, congrats on getting the main man on. It was a superb listen, great interview. I'm not sure what this is referring to. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm lost here. But since Mr. Rose... It would be the Gordy Rose, or Jordy Rose, as he's typing it. It's a dumb name. It's one of those easily mispronounced ones. Uh, has sold a few D-Waves. He seems to have dropped the Salesman Act. Okay. I kind of know why, but anyway. Maybe that's why he softened. Anyway, the big gap will still be, for me, was referencing the human race always builds what imagines, i.e. a car. Not sure Mr. Rose articulated what he might, what he imagined before he built a quantum computer. Okay, now let's go on. Not sure, uh, yeah, yeah. Not sure what he articulated with that it was going to be used for either. Not sure he made the correlation between D-Wave and Sanctuary either. I think you're referring to uh, a, a sci-fi movie, but let's continue. <laughs> what he did articulate... Actually, this may be about that video that you were telling me to look up. What he did articulate is that the D-Wave can be set out on multiple journeys and dimensions, but still arrive at the same destination result single point. That's the idea behind quantum processing and quantum computing in general, in a nutshell. But it's really fluffy, and it's not really based on actually doing testing. And it's based on the idea that you can not only manipulate something on a quantum level, but test it. Which violates the Schrodinger's cat idea, but anyway, here we go. Now, this sounds like a very serious... A, a, the very scenarios algorithms which are driving and analyzing for social media. Now, that actually has some merit, because... If anybody's curious, the D-Wave is literally just an ultra-low temperature, helium-cooled, ultra-high-speed computer. And it's not showing that it's any better than just that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you can take a bunch of video cards with high-performance capabilities and make a supercomputer by making a cluster computer, or supercluster computer, or a, a, a milk toast cluster computer. And basically, the Internet's network of people using their own computers can contribute to SETI at home style equipment where 
you set up every one of your computers to be a supercomputer. And also, all of these pieces of machinery handling your social engineering accounts, as I like to call them sometimes, would have the effect of giving the person running all of these big systems like Facebook and such access to a, a bunch of data and also the ability to have their supercomputers, which is what they are effectively, run fully parallel and solve problems too. Now we get to the crux of this matter. Supercooling a single processor with liquid helium or liquid nitrogen or whatever so that you can get some output while claiming it's quantum or homeopathy or whatever versus literally just building an array of machines and actually doing Bitcoin mining. One of these is practical. The other one is D-Wave. Next statement the guy makes. So I'm still lost after this interview. I suppose one thing is that Minster Anthony Patch has now lost 90%, 99% of his past present material. The 1% left you can get at your local Sunday church service. Ooh, that sounds like a Bernie. So yeah, um, I'm going to watch that uh, video, obviously. A bunch of people have brought up the subject of all of this because if you type in quantum, you will find a bunch of people who look at it. They will. It's a search engine term. That's all it's good for. Uh, thank you for posting this, and I'll actually leave a link to the video if anybody else wants to look at it. And it ends in, again, E8C. Um, so maybe you can find some value in it or some information in it. So the next stage here in the video here is hopefully that the noise level drops and nobody shows up with a random bucket of water to throw at me. Uh, <coughs> That's actually about it. So it's pirates, D-Wave computers, and some YouTube channel with a long video. The video seemed a little bit long. I might go through it. Right now I need to end this before they get over here in a few seconds. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.